There is no doubt that one of the most exciting things I find uh, about my smart home home automation system is the addition of occupancy sensors or um, emotion sensors, multi sensors. This multi sensor six from Aotech is about as advanced as a sensor is going to get for your smart home or home automation system uh, running Z Wave or Z Wave. I say Z Wave, doesn't matter, you figure it out. The multi sensor from Aotech does six things incredibly well it detects motion, light, vibration, humidity temperature and um, ultraviolet light. So let's run through each of those individually so that you can understand, in my opinion, how they are best used. This is a, a generation five unit, which is their own proprietary badging, just to say that it's, uh, it's one of their gen five products. Uh, and it is Z-Wave Plus uh, and Z-Wave Plus backwards compatible, uh, Z-Wave backwards compatible, of course. Uh, this thing, uh, a few little things about this to know off the bat. Um, easy to mount, uh, comes with uh, double-sided tape. Uh, could be used outside, um, but Aotec would recommend that you use it in a sealed, uh, humidity-free, um, you know, like damp-free uh, environment. So to me, that pretty much says, mm, probably don't really use this outside. Uh, it can uh, report in Fahrenheit or Celsius, depending on whether you're in the northern or the Southern, well, basically, if you're in the States or anywhere else other than uh, the States. The, um, the unit comes with uh, two CR, I think they're one, two, three batteries, uh, which can last up to two years, uh, you know, from typical use, which is uh, really good. I think I find of anything in my home automation um, setup, the uh, batteries on the, on the sensors go first, just because they've got so much activity going on with them. Uh, constantly measuring different things. The multi-sensor 6 um, can also be mains powered, which is kind of unique for a lot of the newer smart home devices coming out. If you've got a, uh, um, a place that you can power this from, easily done. It takes a regular USB cable and there is a USB cable included in the box, which we'll have a look at in a minute. So motion. Oh my gosh, there are just way too many things you can do with uh, motion detection and your smart home system. Uh, detect motion, uh, turn a light on, uh, detect motion, um, uh, you know, you can, on certain systems, you can trigger your alarm. Um, you could use if this, then that to trigger all sorts of other things if motion is detected. Um, one of the things I love doing most is uh, I have it set up with my LifeX lights. Uh, at night, you can run it with any smart lights. Um, there's also, obviously, I have the um, the Aotec uh, LED uh, multicolor bulb as well. Um, or if you want to go um, hardcore, um, as I like to think I do, uh, there you could do uh, LED strips, Z-Wave LED strips, connected into your smart home automation system and trigger those. So let's say you get up at uh, you know it's 11:30 at night, or let's say it's two o'clock in the morning, and you're like, oh my god. Uh, I need uh, uh, some water, so you get out of bed, you crawl down the hallway. As you're crawling down the hallway, oh, don't hit the camera, this thing pings you, and then you have your uh, uh, home uh, hub um, smart system set up to go, okay, if motion is detected between these hours, then turn on the bulb in the kitchen or in the lounge, or if you've got, um, you know, smart uh, switches in your house, turn those on, uh, maybe set the light to like 20% so it doesn't wake you up completely. Now that's going to be enough light for you to get up, get a glass of water in the kitchen and head back to bed and then, you know, have. So if, if motion is no longer detected, then turn the light off. So you've managed to get up out of bed, made it to the sink, got yourself a water, got back to bed. You didn't have to touch a light switch. You didn't have to turn on all the bright lights in the kitchen. Very, very cool way of using a sensor. Some of the other ways uh, that this is um, great to use, uh, light. So you can have it set so that if the lux or the light measurement uh, starts to dim, then you turn on say a light in your lounge or in your bedroom or your front porch light, uh, your, your driveway light, any of those lights. Or if it's light in the morning, then you can trigger the same thing again. You can trigger those lights to go off again because obviously it's going to be sunrise. The, 
the light one's pretty obvious, so lots of cool things you can do with uh, light, uh, things getting lighter and darker. Uh, you could even have it in the middle of the day, that if, uh, depending on where you're living, if it's the middle of winter, or if you're in uh, somewhere up near the Arctic, uh, no, that's a bad example. Uh, let's say somewhere uh, closer to the equator and it's getting very, very dark. Um, you can, uh, you know, you can have your lights go on in the middle of the day if, if the light goes below a certain point. Woo, that was a bad example. Moving on, vibration. Um, you know, interesting. Uh, not many other sensors have a vibration uh, detector um, for, you know, seismic uh, movements or any kind of alerts. The beauty of that, you could set it to... Um, uh, sound the alarm if too much vibration is detected that is someone's messing with your sensor uh, maybe someone's you know broken in trying to um, bypass your sensor for whatever reason um, you could also have it alarm if a certain amount of vibration is detected uh, where the unit is in relation to someone you know trying to gain access or doing something they shouldn't do with something Humidity sensor, uh, you know, measures the uh, amount of humidity in, in the air or not. Now, the thing that I use this for with my uh, abode security system, which is also a smart home hub, is that I have a, I actually have an Aotech Smart Switch 6 um, plugged into our dehumidifier. Not technically recommended by the dehumidifier company, but it works. So uh, in the piano room, um, a unit like this, and if it measures uh, above a certain amount of humidity, then the dehumidifier kicks in, uh, dries up the room to a certain point again, and then switches off again. So that is fantastic for looking after things like piano rooms where humidity on the, uh, the timber of, of fine instruments is uh, a sensitive matter, or perhaps you really just don't want your windows um, to, to get wet, especially if you have a single glazed house. Um, could be humidity in, in, uh, that triggers a fan in your laundry, in your bathroom. Lots of options there with humidity. Temperature, oh, same again. Lots of obvious things with this. If the temperature drops below a certain point, uh, flick the switch um, on a uh, smart switch connected to a heater. Turn on your air conditioning, your thermostat, um, whatever device you have that may be connected to a heating or cooling unit, you can do the same thing again. If temperature drops below a certain point, turn it on. If uh, the temperature goes um, above a certain point, turn it off, vice versa. And then ultraviolet, again, something that not many of these kind of devices uh, tend to measure. Ultraviolet could measure things, you know, let's say you had this uh, in the window next to your favorite leather couch or your wonderful expensive uh, drapes or something else that was uh, UV sensitive. Uh, it could be just that you'd like to know how much UV is outside and if you need to put on some sunscreen. We do know that obviously um, sun on objects and devices can make them fade. So this will help you stop that. So that is the Multi-Sensor 6. I'm now gonna attempt to do a fantastic one-handed uh, unboxing as I do because it's fun and I may need to stop and there it is oh I should do that like that look Ooh, there it is drop that out very very you know small comfortable unit you can see how big it is in my hand you've got the um, optional um, mounting bracket here uh, the which can um, so you can, you can have it mounted on slightly more of a, a versatile uh, mounting bracket for angles and things like that. You could just put the double-sided tape on the back, smack it on the wall, uh, but the unit's quite small. The other optional accessory with this is a is a recess uh, unit. So you can cut a small uh, amount, uh, a hole in your wall or in your roof jib uh, and in your, in your drywall, uh, cut out a small amount, put, the, put the, um, the mounting bracket in it, and then that just slots in nicely so it's recessed. So it sticks out just slightly. Um, from the mounting bracket so that it's, the motion detection can have a full array of uh, detection, but it does flush mount it quite nicely back into um, your wall, etc. cetera. The, um, the USB uh, bit is, is very, very innocuous. You know, you'd barely notice that you were powering it um, from that small um, hole where the cable goes through as well. I'm gonna run it with battery. I'm happy running with battery two years. Uh, no problem whatsoever. You, you're gonna know when your batteries go flat. Let's pull out the rest of this. Uh, obviously, packaging. Oh, physical challenge. Here we go. There's some um, brochures. Obviously, this is gonna teach you 
everything you need to know about it. Pairing is gonna be quite similar to anything, I'm sure. Um, power it on and then, um, whoop, I'll just drop the box, put the, oh, that was so close. Put your device into pairing mode and I'm sure it's gonna discover it. Oh, we got it. Ta-da. One-handed magic. Now, what's in this box? One day I should hire a video assistant. Let's just tip it all out. Okay. Oh, well, that's a surprise. Now, I thought this was an optional mounting bracket, but actually it's included, which is even better. And it is super cute. But as you can see, it runs on a bit of a ball system. So screw it in the back and you get a lot more uh, motion. As you can see, tilt it. Oh, to the camera, to the camera. You can tilt it on different angles. You get the idea, right? Good on you. And this is the included uh, USB cable, standard USB with a standard USB plug. So that's replaceable, but look, hey, it's color coded. So why would you want to do something else? Double-sided 3M tape, a couple of screws for your mounting bracket if you want to go hardcore. So there we have it. That is the Aotech Multisensor 6. Um, just to uh, compare it with uh, the, that is the uh, abode uh, occupancy sensor. Um, personally, I really love the square shape of the Aotech design uh, objects. Uh, they're, they're just fantastic. No, th this, this is, you know, this works fantastically um, as an abode system, but uh, I think, you know, this one just, I just like it better. It fits with my aesthetic in my house. So uh, that is the uh, definitely the sum up now of an unboxing of the uh, Aotech Multisensor 6. Highly recommend this product. I think it's great value for money. I think the six sensors on it give you just, uh, just a ridiculous amount of uh, things you can do with it. And I've given you a few examples. I would love to hear uh, what you guys end up doing with stuff like this. All right, bye for now from MakeLifeClick.